How you doing? Hey, this is the admin from Plex Guide. So we're just gonna go ahead and install PG Move. This is pretty relatively simple. Uh, we're using PG Clone, which is pretty new for 7.4 users and up. Uh, long story short, all you have to do is basically just put in your keys, deploy one code, and deploy PG Move, and that's it. You're no longer gonna have to do R Clone Config, which was a painful process, and it it was pretty easy after you got used to it. But the thing is, if you made a mistake, there was just a lot of variability or things that you could have entered that could have made it difficult for anybody to troubleshoot. So we're going to go ahead and type uh, two to get the PG clone. And what happens is here, we're going to go ahead and select PG move with no encryption. If you just started this, you should, you shouldn't be able to really do anything else other than select this option. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And then we're going to go ahead and do our O authentication. I purposely removed my R clone config. So basically it doesn't exist right now. Right now you should see not set on yours. On mine, it says that they're activating set because I did it in the past prior, but we're going to go ahead and update it. So remember, when we're going through this process, we're already assuming that you already did your O-authentication, meaning that you got your O-authentication client key. And make sure that when you um, created the key, you picked other. So if you didn't do that, you might want to go create it again. Most people are tempted to pick web. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the client ID. And then we're going to go ahead and hit paste. And hit set. And then we're going to do the secret ID. We're going to go ahead and paste it. We're going to hit enter. And that's pretty much it for that piece. So very short. Uh, for G drive, we're going to go ahead three. And it's going to ask if we want to proceed. Uh, well, it says this already exists. But I'm going to go ahead and hit yes for if, if it's a new install. You just go ahead and hit. Uh, uh, if, you hit a, if it's a new install, there won't be this option. So you don't have to worry about it. So it deleted it. So it kind of puts me on a baseline anyways. Okay, so it's going to ask, is this what we're going to deploy with? You notice that that matches up. You don't have to compare it, but that's just for a self-sanity check. Proceed. Yes. And then we're going to, we're given this link, basically, just to verify our uh, Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this real quick. All right, so now we have our code. And we're going to go ahead and paste it here. And unlike... Um, our clone, it, it's not really finicky how you enter this. Uh, you can exit if you need to. Just make sure you paste it, and then you hit enter. And after you do that, it's going to do a sanity check. So if it says passed, it means you're good. It hasn't deployed yet, so keep that in mind. It's just saying that it's good. So after this, there's like a 99.5% chance that you're pretty much good to go. So we're going to go ahead and hit uh, Z and exit out of this. The throttle limit, it's good to keep this at 10. If you exceed this, uh, there's a good chance you'll hit an upload ban, which you don't want to do because it will just kind of stop your upload operations until you reboot or something causes it to kind of reset. Um, if you if you uh, set it higher, but let's say you're, you're, you only have a few things downloaded and you wanted to hit your drive as fast as you can, then yeah, you can up this if you need to. But if you see yourself getting near that 750 gig territory, which is a lot, um, if you see yourself hitting near 750 gigs, um, switch to the uh, PG Blitz edition. Or you can leave it on this at 10 and you won't ever exceed it. You can have a backlog and it'll just slowly upload to it anyways. Okay, so we got that pretty much set. So we're gonna go ahead and deploy it. So again, it's gonna check your G drive. You see I put these sanity checks in place. The only reason it would fail is because you forgot to put in your API key incorrectly. You set it up not as other um, billing, there's just, so there's various issues you can have, but it's really outside of our control. Uh, you're not using a business account. You forgot to enable your API. So, you know, simple things like that will nail you on the head. But other than that, that's pretty much it right there. So let's check some stuff. So we can type, uh, status. So I did, I made my own commands here. S G drive. And it's running, so that's good. See, it started, so that's a good thing. So SG drive, like I said, the S for status, and then if you ever want to look at the file, N for nano, but you just type G drive, and what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to look at it. You can edit it too, but if you do that, you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to restart the service. So if you know how to do that, that's good. And for sanity check, we're going to do LSLA mount G drive. And there we go. So we can see that everything is working accordingly. 
So that is pretty much it for this video. If you got time to subscribe, comment, save, stop by the form and donate, uh, help other members out, please do so. There should be like a little thing popping up. Um, again, it's really important because it does help our channel grow. Uh, other than that, I do appreciate your time. And for watching this video, you have a good one. All right, bye.